Now speak uh, to our guest, Luai Safi. He's the chairman of the Syrian American Council, and he joins us now from Washington. What do you see as being the main factor behind this late but potentially very significant diplomatic move on, this, on the part of Saudi Arabia? Absolutely. I think this signifies the fact that the Syrian regime has moved beyond all red lines and is border, their actions is bordering on genocide. So nobody is able to take it anymore, even the Saudi regime, as you said, that has been very reluctant to, to take a position against the Syrian regime is now uh, condemning the, the action of of, uh, of uh, the Assad uh, government. But why did Saudi Arabia then take it up until now? Is there a link, do you think, between the Saudi move and Turkey's uh, hardened stance uh, in the last few days? After all, the two countries both trying to play a, re uh, a leading regional role. Uh, is it an attempt by Saudi Arabia to try to outmaneuver Turkey or are there other calculations? I mean, let, let, let us face, face it, the, the situation has been escalating, the bloodshed has uh, been going uh, into a very unacceptable level uh, with, with, with hundreds are being killed every day in different cities, the siege of Hama and, and Deir Zor has made it clear to everybody that the regime is set on this security solution that is going to hurt everybody and first of all it will hurt those who are perpetrating those, those acts. Uh, Saudi Arabia, its, ki its king in his written statement talked about how unacceptable the bloodshed is and the continuing violence against protesters but he also mentioned the word reform more than once saying that the Syrian government had to enact proper reform. Do you think that the Saudi Arabians have come to some kind of reluctant conclusion that it is perhaps better to see the end of uh, Bashar al-Assad's government perhaps also as an attempt to undermine the Syrian government after all a, a crucial ally, a key ally of Iran in the region? Well, I mean, uh, clearly the, this week is going to be decisive. Uh, we have two countries moving, uh, as you said, Saudi Arabia and Turkey, both have been uh, reluctant to take a strong position against the Syrian government, but now it became clear that the, the Syrian government has, has uh, gone beyond all lines of acceptable behavior, even by countries who are not necessarily interested in seeing democracy at this point, but, but then the level of of destruction and killing is beyond, you know, beyond anyone ability to, to accept it and to uh, stay silent. So we have started to see the, bra the breaking of the Arab silence on Syria, first with the um, Arab League and now with the Kingdom of Sa Saudi Arabia, uh, which very significant, the king himself decided to deliver the statement. Um, of warning to the Syrian regime. There have been reports, uh, unconfirmed though, that Saudi Arabia may have been funding, either directly or indirectly, some opposition elements within Syria. How credible are these reports, do you think? I mean, you're right, we received those reports of, of close to $1 billion uh, of, of, of loan. Um, it has not been confirmed clearly, I mean, it's still unconfirmed reports, but these are, uh, you know, credible reports that we have heard that made many many Syrians angry with, with that with that action. So I think today's statement comes to um, to reassure people of Syria that their their government will not be able to go killing uh, you know uh, their people without being called to to task. Rai Safi, chairman of the Syrian American Council in Washington. Thank you very much.